Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. I would like to extend Nawrad greetings to all my Hindu brothers and sisters who will be celebrating. I know you guys will be fasting, so sending you my love. I hope your fasting is accepted. To all my Muslim brothers and sister, Ramadan is almost over, so I want to give you guys Eid greetings, Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. So for all my Hindu brothers and sisters who will be fasting, y'all, y'all got your back. That's right. Today we will be preparing this delicious, juicy, mm, melt in your mouth chow mein. And it's soy, soy chong's chow mein with an ash twist. So if you would like to know how to prepare this, let's jump into the kitchen and do this step by step. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please hit that subscribe button if you love what's going on in the channel. Sending my love, thanks, and gratitude to everyone. Let's cook. So here we have our soy chunks. I'm going to go ahead and soak these bad boys. Went ahead and covered this in some water. I'm going to soak this for about 20 minutes. So the next step in this cooking process is we're going to boil this chunks for about five minutes, soften it. I you know anything I do in this kitchen, it have an ash twist to it and it's always full of intense flavors. So we're going to season this up and make it so delicious that you just want to eat it just like that, okay? So I'm going to bring my water up to a boil. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, probably half a teaspoon, and we're going to add our chunks to boil for five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and salt my water. Not a lot, like a half a teaspoon or so. Now that I, our water came up to a nice boil, I'm going to go ahead and add our soy chunks in here. And we're going to boil this off for five minutes. Get it all nice and softy, softy. And then we're going to proceed to the next step. So, you know, the thing busy doing its thing there, it's steaming for five minutes. And the reason why I'm doing this, because I'm going to season it up and I'm going to fry it. And you want to make sure that it's not too tough. You know, you bite in the thing, next thing you know, bam, your jaw teeth broke, you gotta go, dentist spend money. So make sure you steam it up nice, right? So that's what I have it doing here, five minutes or so. We're gonna strain it out, make sure you get rid of all that excess water in it. And we're gonna season up this bad boy, ash style. So you see how nice and plump up it get? Fat and nice, it fat like ash. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and drain this. This is what our chunks is looking like. I put it in the strainer and I just, you know, drain out all the excess water out of it. Add it to your bowl. In goes some green seasoning. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all my dry spices that I have mixed up in the bowl. Everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. I'll try to put the ingredients list at the end of this video as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good old mix. Mix everything in well. Season up the bad boy. Look how she look nice. They have that beautiful, vibrant color. And you know, if you're not accustomed to spicy food and you know, the recipe is too spicy for your liking, you can go ahead and adjust the spice to your taste and preference. Season up, mix everything in well. Usually I go in with my fingers, but it's thing a little warm. So let me see. Yeah, gal can manage, man. So I'm gonna mix this in well. Let me get all the thing. I hate on the bowl nasty. Mm, but this is smelling so delicious already. Next step to this is. I'm gonna go in with some rice flour. If you don't have rice flour, you can use um, corn flour. That goes great here or some all-purpose flour, but this give it a nice crisp to it. So in goes that. And I'm gonna grab some water. So I just grab a little bit of water to bring everything nice and you know, back to consistency. So not a lot, just a little bit. And you wanna keep on giving this a good old mix. And that's it. We're gonna fry these bad boys up. So here we have our oil heating up. I'm gonna proceed to add our chunks to this. And we're gonna fry it until it achieves a nice crisp. Yeah, that should be good enough. Look at that beautiful bowl color. Wow. I drool yet. This is a great indication 
that not always you gotta eat meat, meat, meat. You can turn veggie food into delicious recipes and you're gonna enjoy it as much as you enjoy meat. But look at that. Ooh, it's a nice, nice fiery red. Mm, I'm drooling. So do bear in mind, this thing is like a sponge. Anything you put on it, it's gonna absorb a lot of it. So you wanna make sure you drain the oil really well. And I fry this for about maybe four to five minutes. So, you know, everyone frying time may vary depending on your heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish these out and drain them well. That's what you wanna do. I have a pan lined with paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, drop them. Knock, knock, knock a car, he, I ain't about it to me. But you wanna get rid of, you know, most of that excess oil. So I have a pan lined with paper towel and I'm gonna add it to my pan. But go ahead and sample in the meantime. You know, you're not gonna wait for your chow min done for sample. You can start sample, yes. You know, when you fry things like this, this and plantain chips, then so when you get people around you, give them ching gum for chew or gum to chew because you know what? Everybody got a snack on it and be time you're ready for putting the, the, the thing inside the chow min, you're not getting none or serve up the plantain chips, you know, get none. So when you get anybody wrong, you will like eat plenty like me. You give them gum while the thing of fries, so they now get um, cravings. But look at this, look how beautiful this is. So let me tell you, you can use this just as it is, as an appetizer, serve it up, and it's that good. Mm. It's so crispy. You wanna try? Mm. Get enough fat to put in the chow and then eat too, right? Mm. But when you take it out, it's a little soggy. But as it sits, it gets crispy. Okay? That's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I picked up the flavor and a little kick of that spice. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to make the chow mein. I'm going to make the chow mein. Here I have my water heating up for my chow mein. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt to this. You want to salt up your water, you know? Not plenty, plenty. Okay? Because, you know... That stuff have um, salt in the seasoning too. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of oil. You know, what the oil help here to do, um, and make sure that the chow mein is stick up together. You know, you keep it nice and um, moist too and loose. So that's what you want. So I'm gonna grab my chow mein. This is gonna come up to a boil. And we're gonna finish this up as quickly as we can. Now that our water came to a rolling boil, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my chow mein. And I am using Imam brand here, I love that. And it's 12 ounces. This is what it's looking like. Let me show you. Oh God, we can't even show I do talk properly. And I'm gonna get sponsor, okay? So if I want to tag Imam for sponsor me a couple pack free chow mein, Go ahead and span uh, and I tag the man lay sponsor me because y'all girl can take little freeness, okay? So go ahead and empty your chowmin into your water. Here how you bubble up the boy. And you wanna spread it out. And we're gonna boil this until it's nice and um, you know, al dente or soft. And let's start prepare the other ingredients for the chowmin. Here I have my olive oil heating up. I'm going to go in with my aromatics to start saute these. And what I'm putting in into the pot is some cilantro. I'm also using some onions and some celery. So we're going to start to like fry that up and flavor this oil. Make sure you scrape out the board, okay? You want to get that bouncy. I see my broccoli, the big karahi, when I cook fire rice and chow mein and stuff, I need enough space to turn everything up nice here. So I'm gonna go in here with some green seasoning, and it's about, maybe about a teaspoon or so of green seasoning. Because remember, the chow is season up and they have a lot of flavor to it, you know. You do not want to over season it, because if you over season, then the food will get like a little bitter taste from putting too much seasoning. And I'm gonna go in with my carrots. You can cut up your carrots however you wanna cut it up, long way, wrong, square, triangle. I'm just kidding. However, grate it 
Some people grate it, but I like to, you know, taste that little crisp to it. And everything sauté down nice for a minute or two. In the meantime, our noodles are gonna be ready, our chow mein noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles to the pot. Scrape all your noodles out. Every bit counts. I'm gonna add some chow mein seasoning here, and not a lot, you know, just about probably about a teaspoon or so. And this is to your taste and preference. I am gonna also add some chief Chinese spice. No, and then a sponsor me again, okay? So um, if I want to tag them for sponsor me, I go ahead and tag them. I'm gonna go in with my sweet peppers. And give this a good old mix. Mix everything in. Before I add my other stuff that I wanna add in here. Let me know if you like your chow mein very saucy or you know just a little bit of sauce i like mine with a little bit of sauce i don't like too much sauce so i'm gonna go in with some chinese sauce a little bit not a lot like i said i don't like it too saucy you know just for the little color and you can taste it you know for um salt and make sure you get enough seasoning go ahead and do that Now to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some corn, green beans, and bora. Listen, if I not serve me my chow mein and my fried rice with a um, little bora in it, I ain't give me, okay, me not want. Now to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chunks. I'm gonna go add all the chunks though, I'm gonna add some of the chunks. Save some for eat on the side. Well, just in a pushy hand here. Your cameraman and your eat man. Give this a nice mix. It's that good, right? Mm -hmm. You eat behind the camera and I give you review. Obviously, I'm going to say it's great. Because it tastes, it tastes good. Right? If it was bad, I'd say it was bad. But never bad. Look at that, it's looking so beautiful, guys. So beautiful. So we're gonna go in with some bok choy. I love bok choy, baby bok choy in my chow mein. And you wanna put this in when the chow mein is almost finished, reason being, you want this to like melt down just a little bit, not a lot wilt the, the the heat from the chow mein is gonna wilt this nice i like to still taste that little crisp out of it and look how beautiful this is looking there you have it our delicious delicious soya chunks chow mein look at that beautiful color and that juiciness on the chow mein mm, it's looking fabulous so let's taste test this our pretty taste tester is home and I gave her a plate. We made some chow mein and chicken. Tell us what you think. If it tastes like chicken or what it tastes like. I'm just kidding. It's chow mein and chunks. Oh. Taste the chunks by itself and tell them how we eat and then, then go in with a big bite of everything. Mmm. That's good. Mm hmm. You miss the chicken or the beef? It tastes the same. It tastes the same, right? Yeah. So y'all here, right? Even better. Even better? <laughs> so there you have it, guys. You have to try this recipe. It's so delicious, believe me. The kids enjoy it. I enjoy it. We didn't miss the meat at all. It's a great recipe for you to try for now, right? Sending our love, thanks, and gratitude to everyone. Stay blessed, stay safe. See you guys soon with another delicious recipe. Bye.